Hello, this is a quick introduction to show you how to use SPIN at NERSC. Docker is a convenient way to package, distribute, and run software and computer systems. SPIN is the solution for running Docker containers at NERSC. The first step will be to log into one of the NERSC login nodes. I'm currently logged into Cori here, but these commands will also run on Edison, and they'll also run on Denevo and GenePool. The next step is to run, to run is to actually load the SPIN module. So module load spin. And uh, to manage the services in your application, you're gonna be use the command line tool called Rancher. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna print my Rancher environment to make sure that Rancher is working correctly. Rancher environment. So we have two main environments at NERSC. The first, uh, there's a production environment as well as a development environment. Currently, I'm in the development environment. You'll see this word cattle from time to time, and that's simply referring to a piece of the software that we use to manage and orchestrate the containers. The next step is going to be running an application in SPIN. The application stack that I'm showing you is a pretty simple web application consisting of a web service, which serves static images from the file system, an application server which hosts the dynamic code and communicates with the database, and a database container. Let's show you what that looks like. Let me go to my working directory. Oops, Docker, Cephanel, Flask demo. And you can see here that I have a Docker Compose file which will configure and define the application. I also have a file here which holds a password, uh, and I'll talk about that in a moment. So first, let's look at the Docker Compose file. So you can see here that I have three services. Let me just change the size here a little bit. I have three services. I have a web service, an application service, and a database service. The web and the database service are built from images that I simply pulled from Docker Hub. The application service is a custom application containing my code, uh, which I built on my laptop just a couple hours ago. As I said earlier, the web server is uh, simply serving static images. So I've placed those images in my project file system on the NERSC global file system. Um, I'm also mounting the Nginx configuration file in the container from the file system. Um, not everyone does that. It's just a convenient way to modify the Nginx configuration during development if I need to do that. The Mongo database needs a password, so let me just show you how that works. Here at the bottom of the file, I'm at, under the secret section, I'm actually defining a secret which contains the password. I'm reading it. I'm reading the password from this file, which is on my current directory where I am currently running. Um, and then these sections here are actually making the password available to the container and then making the file available under the directory run secrets. I'm then exposing the password to the application through this environment variable. We don't want to be keeping passwords in the Docker Compose file because we might want to share this Compose file and we don't want to accidentally uh, share the password. Um, a couple other things I want to point out about this file. Um, you'll see these sections here called cap add and cap drop. Um, what Docker by itself, um, Docker by default is actually pretty secure already but we're just taking it a step further by dropping all remaining Linux kernel capabilities from the container, and then we're adding just a handful of capabilities that are needed. Uh, so that helps to improve security for a public web service. So now that we've seen how the application is configured, let's go ahead and spin it up. Exit out of this file. So to spin up, a service in spin, I'm going to use the command rancher stack create. So rancher stack create Stefan L fast demo that will spin up my 
service that'll spin up my application stack and give it the name Stefano Flash Demo. Um, and then to view the progress of this startup, I'm gonna go ahead and type this rancher ps command. You can see here that I have three services running. I have a web service, an app service, and a database service. All three are in the state of activating, which means they are in the process of starting up. So it can take a little bit. So we're gonna wait just a moment and run this command again. Type rancher ps again. And here we go. So now we have three services. All three are currently in the state of healthy, which means that they are up and running and ready for connections. All right, so the next step is to, I'm gonna open up a web browser here. And I'm going to go ahead and plug the URL into the browser bar. Uh, right now I'm using an IP address. Um, normally you won't be doing that. I'm just doing that for right now because it speeds up the demo. So there we go. So I have an application here. It's grabbing some data from the database, these fields here. And if I click on the fields, I get an image which is actually served from the static image directory on the NERSC file system. So what this means is um, we just spun up a web server, an application server, and a database server, and it took about 30 seconds. And that's pretty nice. So the next thing I'll show you is how easy it can be to upgrade an application. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a real simple upgrade. I'm gonna take this background on this web page and I'm gonna change it from white to another color. It's just a simple double demonstration just to show you how to upgrade something. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my laptop where I built this application in the first place. This is uh, the directory where I built the application. You can see the Docker file here. I'm gonna go ahead and gonna to go to the templates directory and I'm gonna open up this page HTML file. I'm just gonna change the body tag from what it currently is to a different tag and just go ahead and save that file. I'm gonna go back to my root directory and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and rebuild the image. Uh, this time I'm gonna give it the tag of v2 previously the image was tagged with version one so now i'm going to just do it version two docker image build and there's built and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm just going to push this to the spin registry Zoop. so that it's available in spin uh, so then the next step is to go back to Cori to my working directory i'm going to open up this docker compose file Go to the, where this image is here. I'm gonna change this version one to version two. Save the file. And now I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the application. And I'm gonna quickly do something called confirming the upgrade. And then I'm going to check the web application. Let's go and refresh this page. And there we go. The application was white, and now the background is this nice lavender color. So that was just a quick, easy demonstration just to show you how to upgrade a container. Um, other things that, uh, folks want to do with containers. Uh, let's show you some simple administration, administrative tasks. Um, so first, uh, let's say I want to look at the logs for a container. So um, I'd like to look, or ra rather I'd like to look at the logs for a service. So I'll do that using the command rancher logs Stefano flash demo slash web. So those will show me the web logs. So there we go, so the, here are the application logs. You can see that I've had a couple of hits on this web application, all from my own IP address. Um, say that you're expecting a surge of traffic 
um, and you want to increase the number of web containers that are serving the static images, you can do that real quickly with the rancher scale command. Uh, here you can see that I'm setting the number of web containers from one to two. So before I do that, let me just go back. We'll just look at rancher PS. We can see that there are three, that here's my web service. This is saying I have one out of one possible services running, so I only have one. Um, what I'll do here is I'm actually going to go back, now I'll scale it to two, scaling it to two. Now do rancher PS again, and now we can see that there are two out of two containers running. So I've just doubled the size of my web server applications. Um, a third thing is to, um, to debug an application. You might want to get a shell on the container. The way we do that is we use the command rancher exec. It's like docker exec. I pass it a couple flags and I tell it that I want to start with the bash shell. Since I have two containers running, um, it'll ask me which one do you want to run on. So I'll go ahead and I'll select one. And here I am. I'm inside of the container um, using the bash shell. So that's a quick demonstration of using Spin at NERSC. If you're interested in running containers at NERSC, go ahead and follow the links on the document pa documentation page to get started. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching.